selected here for the sixth annual Holiday Magic Parade in downtown Roanoke. And what a parade it is. More floats, more people, more holiday magic than ever before. Joining me today, the hosts of the parade from the Royal Oak City Commission, Pat Capello and Carlo Giannotti. Take it away, commissioners. Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are in a nice, crisp uh, holiday magic parade. Pat, how are you feeling this morning? I'm doing great. I'm really excited about all the floats and how big this parade is going to be today. And I can't wait for the big guy, the reason we're all here. I hope you've been a good girl here. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> We're really looking forward to this, and it looks like there's a great crowd out there, and we're excited about the whole thing, and there's no snow yet. Maybe there'll be snow by the end of the parade. What do you think? I'm hoping for it, and I think everybody here is hoping for it as well. If not, Santa Claus is going to have the wheels on his sled this year, so yes. I'm sure we'll get some snow. But uh, we're looking. And uh, I think we're going to be right back, Pat, in just a little while, and uh, we'll see you then. Looks like the parade is uh, underway here. But, uh, leading the parade is, of course, the Royal Oaks Finest, two of the Royal Oaks Finest, the police and fire. And our paramedic group as well. And the paramedic group. So too. we've got everybody covered. Got a lot of lights, a lot of lights, maybe some sirens. Ah, there we go. You know what's great about this is always the official beginning of the parade when we see all the lights and the sirens. Oh, yes. And this year our parade is dedicated to the... Uh, first responders and to the fire and to our heroes. That is a great thing too. Well, we all tend to take this kind of protection for granted, uh, but in the long run, it's why you and I are here. It's here to make sure, we're here to make sure that the city gets the service it needs and it's the, the protective services and the help from the fire, police, and the paramedics. This is true. It'd be a sad world without these uh, men and women. Absolutely. And they have cool sirens, too. <laughs> oh, really? Nice trucks. I'd like to ride in one of those trucks. Where do you think they got those trucks from? I think out of the station houses. <laughs> those are beautiful. I bet they spent a lot of time cleaning those trucks last oh, night, yes. too. Oh, yes. Boy, we couldn't have asked for better weather today. What do you think? It's, it's really great. The only thing I'd like to see is a little sunshine. The clouds are a little oppressive, but... Nothing can uh, suppress the excitement of all the people here today to see this great parade. And speaking of excitement, here come the uh, Royal Oak Honor Guard. I always uh, send a shot up my spine when I see these uh, gentlemen walking down the street. They do a great job. They perform at all of our, at the Memorial Day, they performed at our um, Veterans Day ceremony. They're there for everyone. This group is organized by firefighter Craig Strauss and uh, they do a great job. They were organized in the wake of the September 11th tragedy in 2001, and they represent the department IAFF Local 431 and the city of Royal Oak throughout the area. And that's the Royal Oak and the uh, Fire Department uh, Honor Guard. They do a great job every year they do. Every year. Look at the precision with which they operate. And I'm, I've seen these guys uh, standing in snow and in rain have to that oh yes so. oh yes well here comes the first of many banners this is the uh, Royal Oak Downtown Development Authority holiday magic and who do we have in that car who do you think's in there well let's see I see some familiar familiar faces out there that looks like uh, Looks like Barbara and uh, some of the directors. Oh the yes, PDA. our downtown development directors. There's Barbara Boss in the rain, in the reindeer hat. There's, uh, Kevin Kalzinski. I see uh, Bill Harrison, of course. Oh yes. Uh, I see all the directors from the DDA. Shirley Smith on and the other side. And that's Andre Tomkiew's car, I believe. He's uh, always very proud of that. Oh, and his classic car, yes, that Jim is Domansky, magnificent. Jim Domanski, Rhonda Jemison, and Eileen Hill, I believe, are out there as well. And here come the... Oh, the Cub Scout Troop 1627. 45 uh, young scouts saluting law enforcement and uh, everyday heroes. A great job they're doing. Hello, too. everybody wave to them. Yes, they are accompanying our everyday heroes float. 
Uh-oh, and what do we have here? The, some sort of musical float. This is the uh, Everyday Hero Salute to Law Enforcement. Responder Volunteers. And there's our fine chief, Chief Quisenberry of the Royal Oak Police Department, accompanied by Bill Thomas and Jim Demansky, owners of Prontos and big civic organizers. They've done a lot of things for everyone in this city. Is that the coolest float that you've seen in a while, I bet you? That is oh, yeah. Neat. That's great. Oh, here comes our Crime Prevention Council. I see we've got McGruff. McGruff, the crime-fighting dog, with some of our Crime Prevention Council members. There's Anne-Marie Gasorik, Officer Anne-Marie. There's Elmer Morehouse. Uh, and I think that's Eunice Skilton. That, yeah, I think you're correct. That is. Of course, McGruff is always the high point. Not the highest point of the parade, but always a high point of the parade. Right, the crime-fighting dog. Now we have the uh, National City. Uh, this, this is the uh, National City Santa's Holiday Magic Parade Marshals. And I see that uh, the Steve Harmon of Downtown Royal Oaks National City Branch leads the way with an army of his colleagues. Unless my eyesight fails me. Do you agree, nope, Pat? I think you're right. I think you're absolutely correct. Of course, the sponsor of this is of course, National City. Yes, and there's the first dog of banking, Coco the Wonder Dog. Well, he is your guest, I think. All right, he's your guest. Oh, I can't use that. That is, uh, it's a great, uh... They're a happy group, and they do a lot for our city as well. That's Santa and the Holiday Magic. Thank, uh, we'd like to thank National City for their fourth year as a representing sponsor of Santa's first stop in the metro area. This year, uh... Pat, as you know, they've helped dozens of volunteer parade marshals, um, and they helped guide this parade. They've made it what it is. Absolutely. They provided a lot of the, the parade marshals for this parade so that we have someone walking along beside a lot of floats and the groups that are marching for us. Let's go to Charlie Langton on the street. All right, so what about this parade? Why'd you come out today? I heard it was the uh, best event in Royal Oak. And so we bundled up and came out in our little dandy wagon, and here we are. And you've got a great spot. Enjoy the rest of the parade. Okay, okay good. Bye. Bye. And here comes the wonderful K-Bar Fed, the bagpipes that everybody loves. It would not be a parade without the bagpipes. I love the bagpipes. I'm going to say just a few words here, and then we're going to listen to the bagpipes so everyone can enjoy them. Of course, uh, we welcome back the K-Bar Fed. They are an authentic Scottish bagpipe band dedicated to preserving Scottish culture and tradition of the great Highland bagpipes. And with that, maybe... Uh, we'll and their music brings listen. back the Scot in all of us. The Mick Morris myth solver. I On his way. Oh, yes. This is the team from the best selling children's book series, Mick Morris Myth Solver. Say that two times quickly, Carla. <laughs> That's why I let you take it. <laughs> With five ways to finish. Which means that each Mick Morris book has five different endings. And of course, uh, it's led by Karen and Darren Breggy. Um, they're performing at the Ridley's Comedy Castle. Is, uh, am I correct on that? Yes, absolutely. Okay. What a great, uh, what a great show. Oh yes, all the mythical creatures. Later now here today. comes a, a, the Royal Oak Chamber of Commerce. I think they're going to have a surprise for us. I see something dangling from their shoulders. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, are those laptop computers? I think they are. The laptop lineup and their precision drill work. This is a senior year for the laptop lineup to perform. Oh, yes. Well, they've been practicing. I've seen them at the farmer's market all, all year long, led by Christine Chubenko. And I think they had some special training from... Uh, I think the Oakland County Sheriff's drill team, I believe. I think so, too. Are 
You having a great time with the parade? Oh yeah, this is our sixth year coming out here. You've been here every year then? Oh yeah. Why about why? What is it about the Royal Oak Parade? So good. It's exciting. It's, there's so many uh, rides and so many uh, bands. The marching band is great. A lot of music. We're, get, we're so exciting. We come here for this. is our sixth year down here. Oh my God. Yeah, do you have a favorite parade or favorite float or band? Favorite float, the Christmas one. With Santa Claus? Yes. Uh, how many people did you bring today? Just my son Jacob and my daughter Serena. Oh, I'm sure they're going to like it. Okay, enjoy the rest of the parade, all right? Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. This is yes. the Hagopian banner. <laughs> hey, can we talk to you? You know, Carlo, when Santa has to clean his carpets, who does he use? Who does he use? I think he uses the uh, Hagopian uh, specialist. Yeah, I think so too. I I know I certainly do. So that's a little known fact, and I'm glad you uh, you brought that. Uh, you reminded me of Santa that. Santa has reindeer. You and I just have dogs. Yes, exactly. So when it's time to clean the carpet, I call Hagopian. <laughs> One of the best, one of the best for sure. If you spill hot sauce on the carpet, call a Gopian. They are the best carpet cleaners around, from what I've heard. Absolutely, yes. Very nice of them to march in our parade today. All okay, right, let's uh, go live with Charlie with another interview in the street. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, and we're here with a whole bunch of people. You guys have great seats. You guys having fun at the parade? Oh, I know you do. Can you say um, Merry Christmas really, really loud? One, two, three, go! Merry Christmas! All right, have fun, okay? Are you keeping warm? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, back to you. All right, uh, thank you very much. You look like you had quite an active crowd over there, Charlie. Thank you. Now we have the... Uh, I believe this is the Kiwanis yep. Club, obviously. They see the banner. Yes. And uh, Carried by Tom Hoover, our city manager. I thought that face looked familiar. Looks like you guys are doing a good job. And having a good time. Yes, that's for sure. And the Key Club, of course. Let's not forget that one. And a little while ago, we were talking about hot sauce. Uh, here comes the, uh, one of the live bands that we're going to see today. This kind of music makes me want to dance and sing. How about you, Carlo? I'm all for that. But if we do that, we'll clear the streets. So let's just stick to commenting on the parade. Could this be the Luther Bad Man? This is the Blues Band? Did I read that correctly? This is hot sauce. This is hot sauce. Let's let them listen for a little while. Sponsored by the Kwana. Uh, that last band we saw, I think that was former city commissioner Jim Johnson escorting the band. Right, with button riding shotgun. Riding shotgun, yes. And the next group we have here, of course, is the Royal Oak uh, Neighborhood Schools. The theme together is Schools Together. And of course, they've, uh, they've come a long way, and we've had the combination of two high schools in the one, and they've done a great job of doing that. Yes, so. and, and go Ravens. They're showcasing some of their best talent and music in the performing arts, led by Dr. Tom Moline, right here at the beginning of the group. And I see school board member Lisa Bradford, Paul Bradford, carrying the banner, I believe. And here we have the Ravens dance team. They have certainly come together today to showcase some of their best talent, as you said, Pat. And the competitive cheer team as well. Yes. Go Ravens! One Here's of the my Royal, favorite places. Yes, the Royal Oak High School Marching Band.
we'll let the viewers listen for a little while and enjoy this music. Pat, that was the Rock High School Marching Band, and uh, I bet you know this, but I'm going to tell those that don't that it's 75 members strong, and the band has 48 wins, 10 percussion, 11 color guard, 2 drum majors, and of course it's directed by Tom Foreman and Dave Jack. Saw a lot of toes tapping out there in the audience just a little while ago. Oh yes, it's not a parade without a band. Here come the Star Elementary Girl Scout and Brownie Troops. They are celebrating 95 years of caring and sharing together. And they're dressed for the occasion today as well. The Brownie and uh, Girl Scout troops. Again. They look like they're warm today. And they look like they're having a really good time. And that's what it's all about. Oh, there's a tent uh, representing the camping spirit. I yeah. told you where I was this weekend, didn't yeah. I? Yes. <laughs> camping. Next coming up, we have the First United Methodist Church. They're a very active and supportive community church, and they're celebrating our Santa's first stop for the year. Of course, the sponsor of this is the Reverend Marshall Dunlap. And uh, Reverend Dunlap and parishioner Michael Monty recreated a Bethlehem scene to celebrate the holiday magic. And a great, great spirit here today. Yep. Let's go, let's go. What would Christmas be without fine jewelry? jewelry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and who is Santa's fine jeweler? Well, it's Charlotta of Royal Oak. Charlotta is pleased to present Luther, Badman Keith. Now I have it right this time, but uh, we here's another toe tapping uh, festive unit coming down the street here. Well, this is Santa's favorite, that's for sure. He's making his third appearance in Santa's first stop parade. Badman's band riding in a carriage with beautiful workhorses. He was an editor at the Detroit News for almost 20 years, and now he gave that up to be the singing a band. Charlie, it looks like uh, we're going to hand it off to you. Carl, I am here with Nicole, and who's this, Nicole? This is Polly, and my son Ethan, and our friend Campbell. Are you, have, are you guys having fun today? Yeah. yeah. Now, Polly looks a little bit cold. Polly's cold today, yeah. It's a little bit chilly out here today. Yeah, does Polly come to the parades all every year? This is uh, Polly's second parade. Wow. And yeah. what does what Polly like about the parade? Uh, he usually likes all the other dogs, but today we're keeping him up. He's cold, so. That's right. All right. Well, do you have a favorite uh, float in the parade, Nicole? Oh, uh, we just wait for Santa every year, so. Yeah. You guys waiting for Santa, too? Yeah. Okay. And what, when I say one, two, three, can you say, uh, Merry Christmas, Royal Oak? Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Merry Christmas, Royal Oak. All right. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Carlo and Pat. All right. And Merry Christmas to you guys as well. Thank you very much. Of course, Pat, uh, now we have the William Sullivan and Son celebrating 100 years. A family to yours is the theme. Yes, I see Bill and John and all of their family. And they are es escorting this beautiful Mother Goose float. 
And a beautiful float it is. Again, got his toe tapping again. Did you know that William Sullivan was the city's first fire marshal and he opened his funeral home in 1906? I didn't know that. Well, they've played a vital role ever since. They are Royal Oak's first family. They certainly are. We're glad to have them part of uh, our community. And the mother goose float that they're escorting is one of the oldest in the Detroit Parade Company's group of floats. <laughs> Whatever they call a group of floats. It's not a gaggle. A gaggle of floats. I was going to say that, yes. Oh, yeah. This is the award award winning Utica High School marching band and the dance troupe. Of course, that band is under the direction of music director Ms. Sandra Oset. Utica High Marching Band is back in Royal Oak by popular demand. Don't they do a great job? They do. Look at those leg lifts and high kicks. I don't. I used to be able to do that a long time ago. I never could. <laughs> All right, let's listen to what these guys and uh, gals have. They're led by the Grinch. By the Grinch, the yes, Grinch I just Santa. noticed that. I thought he looked familiar. Hope he doesn't recognize me. All right, they're moving in front of us, and uh, as soon as they do, we'll, uh, we'll listen to them a little bit here. Great, great job. Wow, I'm just a sucker for a good drum section. That's the Utica High School Marching Band leaving us, and it's the third year in this parade today. They did a great job. They're a great band. Now, coming up next, we have the uh, Harmony Acres Arabian uh, Show Horses. Oh, those are beautiful animals, aren't they? Oh, yes. They've appeared in over 300 parades and ethnic festivals in Michigan and the surrounding states. Each horse has been expertly trained using advanced equine psychology-based methods. They're I'm impressed. Probably, they're probably smarter than we are. <laughs> it wouldn't take There's long. no doubt about that. There's, <laughs> and the Arabian show stop, uh, horses are always a showstopper. Oh, they're beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, you guys, start dancing. Start dancing. The big holiday dances right here. We've got the dancers right here on Washington Street. You guys are doing a great job dancing, huh? Are you dancing because you like to dance or just keep you warm? Just keep you warm. Yeah, keep you warm. That's what I thought. And how about you? Look at that camera right over there and tell why you're why your dad's get the holiday parade. Because because I'm just having fun. Oh, that's good too. Are you guys having fun too? Yeah. All right, I think everybody should dance. Woo! It, it does keep you warm, doesn't it? Okay, you guys say ready. Merry Christmas, uh, uh, Royal Oak. Okay, get one, two, three, go. Merry Christmas, Royal Oak. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We will be back in just a moment. And we're back now. Carlo, and again, I, got, I got you a present this year. Did you? And, and what is it, I wonder? Um, they're coming up. I want it to remain a surprise. You can't open until Christmas, but we've got uh, a preview of it coming up right here. They've, uh, I wrapped them specially just for you. Oh, you shouldn't have, Pat. I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> But they're all having a good time. Everybody here is having a good time. They certainly look like it. And we've got, uh, how long do you think you took to wrap those little uh, gifts there? Hours. Hours and hours. Oh, I, first I made the wrapping paper and the ribbon myself. <laughs> you're, you're incredible, Pat. I, I know. I know. That's what my husband says that too. <laughs> all right. Well, everybody looks like they're having a lot of fun, and that's what these parades are all about. I know I'm having fun. How about you? I'm having a great time. This is the Candy Band. Hooray! One of my favorites. Yep, and they're going to be singing I Want a Big Fat Cookie for Christmas from their new Christmas CD. After the parade, you can see them over at Andiamo's Osteria. 
and their hair are their hair is styled by Aqua Salon, who is also the sponsor of this. These are four local area moms who got tired of whiny kids' music, so they decided to create their own, and they all have taken stage names of various candy bars. So on the guitar, we've got. We have Skittles. On guitar, we've got Almond Joy. On the drums, we've got... Oh, I can't even read my... Oh, Starburst! I thought that was Starburst. Yeah, I recognize. Those are truly rock and roll moms, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. You know they've been on national TV? They've played at the Lollapalooza. They're playing there this next year for the third year in a row in Chicago's Grant Park. They've been at the Detroit Zoo. They've Four shows coming up in January, and they're everywhere. And you're looking at, uh, right now, you're looking at the Aqua Salon, I believe. Uh, a bunch of ladies from the Aqua Salon. Right. The sponsor of that float. Aqua Salon, of course, the owners, Julia and Fotai Nikolai. They're arbiters of style with three salons in the metro Detroit area. Here come the Redford Township Unicyclists. It's an amazing multi-generational group that began in 1975 with a group of teenage friends. They have won numerous awards for amazing feats of skill. In 2006, they won the North American Silver Club Parade Writing Title. Look at their precision. And this group is always a favorite at the Magic uh, Parade. I tell you, I used to be able to do that. Before I bet I, you still could. I probably could. I'd like to, but... I could probably jump out there right now. I just don't want to show off. Uh, and I think that's very gracious of you. <laughs> that is amazing, though. Always a favorite. And they never get tired of doing this. And, they, and we never get tired of watching them. Their version of a figure eight. Very well done. Seriously, have you ever tried to do that? It's very difficult. I think there are many simpler things that are beyond my skill level, so <laughs> we'll leave that to the experts, and they did a great job. It's amazing. The Redford Township Unicyclists. And they've come a long way to share this day with us, and we're glad they did. Okay, I think we're going to go back to Charlie and see who he's uh, found out there to spread some joy. Charlie, back to you. You've got one of the most important jobs in this parade in keeping all of the television cables together. That's. Do you think you can handle the job? Yes. <laughs> How come? Um, because I'm short. <laughs> I don't know. You're short, huh? I'm quick. Yeah. What do you like about being in Royal Oak, Sophia? Um, I like how there's parties in the... Parties in Royal Oak? Parades, parades, oh. that's what I meant. More like parades, not parties, though. Yeah, and like lots of stores and... Yeah. Favorite store? Um, right now cookies? it would probably be like Starbucks or something. Starbucks? You have to get that caffeine fix when you go off to school in the morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you keeping warm? Yeah. You got your little earmuffs on, that's good. <laughs> all right, you have a fun time today, and you're doing a great job for WROK. Keep it all the cables and the televisions all together, right? Yeah. All right, Sophia. All right, bye-bye. Enjoy the parade. Oh. So why is a parade? Why is it such a good part to be out here in Royal Oak? Well, first of all, I like uh, supporting South Southern Oak. I like this area very much. So um, anything, t anytime something goes on anywhere in, uh, you know, Southern Oakland, it's good. But Royal Oak particularly, very good. One of the best. And my kid wants to see Santa, right? You want to see Santa? Say, Santa, come over here. <laughs> That's not going to do it. Enjoy the rest of the parade. All right, good. All right, good. <laughs> okay, I think we're back. Um, we see the Starbucks banner, Treats on the Street. Starbucks is supporting the CAS, they're sponsoring the CAS Technical High School Marching Band. Santa's preferred coffee, of course, is Starbucks. And I was looking for Starbucks uh, about an hour and a half ago this morning. Well, uh, I'll fight we you for a caramel macchiato myself. We should probably remind everyone to visit the Starbucks 
cheer patrol for delicious coffee and hot chocolate sampling after the parade at 4th and Washington. Yes, very close by. We maybe want to get there ourselves. Maybe you can hold this clipboard and I'll go get us both a cup of coffee. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> the Cass Technical High School Marching Band began in 1990 by Mrs. Sharon Allen. They are renowned for providing entertaining and jaw-dropping high-action performances. They're well-known statewide as well as around the country and have performed with well-known artists Patti LaBelle and Michigan's own Sinbad. All right, let's see, what, uh, see if they can get our toes tapping again. Listen to them for a while. They've got attitude, Carlo. They've got attitude. <laughs> All right, another fine performance. They do look like they're having fun. They do. It's always amazing when you go to parade, wonder how they keep warm. The band, that is. Yes, well, I think the marching helps. Get them started. Of course, the next group we have is the Help You Sell banner and the vehicle. And I think I is that Rudolph over there? I think I saw him. There's the Help You Sell, specializing in residential real estate. So if you're in the market, guess what they'll do? They'll help you sell. <laughs> yes. I, and today they're sponsoring made that up the children's trackless train. Coming up right behind them. And is that conductor Bernie Stevens at the, uh, what do you call it, the helm or the wheel yes, of the train? Yes, by golly, I think it is. And a few of Santa's helpers are enjoying the ride in the train conducted by, as you just mentioned, Bernie Stevens. I may be an eternal optimist, but if uh, this is Santa's train, you don't think he's too far behind, do you? Oh, no. No, no. I think, I think he'll be here. I think everyone's paving the way for him. Usually the children's train signifies that Santa is in route. But first, I bet you we're going to hear from a rock and roll Christmas carol. I think so, too. I think we could get one of those candy canes out there and the... I think that's part of the perks that we have uh, in announcing the parade. Okay, At least that's great. what they told me. That's why I'm here today for yes. the candy canes. Oh, yeah, me too. What would Christmas be without the rock and roll uh, Christmas carol? Oh, yeah, rocket printing of Royal Oak. Representing a straight-up rock and roll band, Stereo Addicts. The Stereo Attic Band is making a list, checking it twice, and has all the words rock and roll music all over it. And here they are singing about rock and roll Santa. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> this brings back lots of memories. Let's all sing along. <laughs> What's Christmas without rock and roll? And that has to be, yes it is. I think that's Paws. That's Paws, the mascot for the Detroit Tigers and leading the group was Milt Wilcox from the 1984 Tigers with his dog Sparky. His dog Sparky of course is a premier dock jumping dog from the Ultimate Air Dogs, a group that Milt Wilcox started. And you're right, that's Milt Wilcox, Sparky, and uh, wishing everyone a happy holiday. And of course, uh, Tigers had a happy holiday this year, almost, a great season. Right, it's particularly fitting that he would be here today with the great season that they had, especially since he was part of that uh, championship team from 1984. I was there in 84. That's another story, though. Yes. 
Here we go, the Red Hat Society. How wonderful. These ladies are ladies over 50 that celebrate the joy of living wearing red hats and purple outfits. And if they are wearing pink hats and lavender outfits, it means they're under 50. That's the only rule of the club. A lot of people ask, who are those ladies playing the kazoo? Well, they're the red hot ladies, and they're backed by popular demand. They play the kazoo and do a little pounding around. They are a fun group. There are chapters all over the United States. They've only been in existence a few years, but it certainly has caught on. And they celebrate. They celebrate their lives. They look like they uh, are having a lot of fun, and they always do. <laughs> and, and speaking of clowning around, did I say clowning around? We have, of course, what's a parade without a clown, Pat? The guy who did my hair this morning, can you tell? Yeah, he did mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I think he spent more time on his. His looks better than mine. I used to have a car like that. I used to have hair like that, too. <laughs> yes. That's a classic T-bird. Okay, we have the Royal Oak Community Credit Union coming up next. Uh, we still have the clown. But behind them is the Royal Oak Community Credit Union. Royal Oak Community Credit Union. You know, that's Santa's preferred credit union. Did you know that? Absolutely. Yes. Yes, I did. And this is their fifth or sixth year, I believe, performing in this parade. They've been a, a strong participant since the parade began. Oh, here he is, Mr. Grinch. He's a mean man, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Another childhood favorite, the giant Grinch and his dog, Max, as created by Dr. Seuss. Oh, and we have the Girl Scouts Junior Troop 3049 from Oakland Elementary, dressed as residents of Whoville. Whoville, that was one of my favorite places. Whoville, oh yes. Cindy well, Lou, I used to know a Cindy Lou from... Cindy Lou who? Right. <laughs> Who's on first? Hey, hey. <laughs> I think our city manager, Tom Hoover, comes from Whoville. I think you're right. I saw that on his resume. Jessica! Clap if you love the Grinch. Again, I think the, the Grinch recognized me. I We had a run-in once, I believe. Well, this is a good Grinch now. He's been converted. Oh, he's The PC? children from, from the elementary converted, yes. That's absolutely. true. And here we have the Daily Tribune banner, publisher Wayne Emke and his staff from the community newspaper. The Daily Tribune is the community's oldest daily newspaper spanning, I think it's about 100 years. And the Tribune uh, this year salutes the high magic in Royal Oak, and they've supported it this year as they have every year. Thank you very much, Royal Oak Tribune and Wayne Emke. Well, you can almost feel the electricity in the air as uh, Santa Claus gets closer, can't you? Yes. I know I'm excited. I'm tingling. I've uh, made a list and I've... Okay, it's time for Charlie to give us uh, another brief interview. All right, thanks, Pat. We're here with uh, Officer from the Auxiliary Royal Oak Police Department. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. Are you keeping warm? Uh, as much as I can, yes. Well, you've got about, what, 40,000, 50,000 people here, all the responsibility of you to keep them all in line. Can you do it? Uh, we're, we're certainly trying. <laughs> what is your role here from the Auxiliary Police Department here at Royal Oak? Basically, just to make sure everybody is uh, safe and has a good time. Um, you know, just, just, uh, just that. Have you done this parades before? Oh yeah, this is my uh, third, third, or, third or fourth. I've like, I don't know. <laughs> and I understand you get paid a lot of money for doing this, right? Um, yeah, uh, very little. <laughs> Volunteer <laughs> almost, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> join the crowd, join the club here, you know? No, really, you do a great job serving the community, though. That's good. And you're Royal Oak as well? Yes. That's good. And the crowd really is a great crowd. I mean, this is pretty. This is a pretty easy gig for you today, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, seeing these these kids' faces and everything, it's it's just it's beyond words. So aren't they fun? Yeah. All right, officer, thank you very much. A Merry Christmas to you, and again, thanks for volunteering and all the job that there's about eight or nine auxiliary police officers out here tonight, yes, uh, today, today rather, keeping the crowd under control. Yeah, yes, sir. Thanks. I wish the city a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. All right.
<laughs> Thanks. Sorry, I'm I'm so a little cold. <laughs> go get your go get yourself some coffee, then, officer. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, uh, Royal Oak uh, Police Auxiliary. Everyone having a great time today. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, more of holiday magic in downtown Royal Oak. looking at some uh, gentlemen there. Pat, uh, I think that's a building uh, that's not in Royal Oak, is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Under construction on the corner of 5th and Washington and I think they have the best seat in the house, Carlo. They do have the best seat and I bet you each one of those guys have been very, very good this year and Santa Claus is going to treat them well if, if they can finish that building in time. <laughs> <laughs> then I hope everyone will treat them well. They're having a good time. They are. They are, of course. They stopped work to watch the festivities. Okay, it's time to get back kids. to work now. You finish that building. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're just joking. We want them to be safe, and we want them to take their time and finish the building. Correctly. Okay. And we see a lot of people here that uh, are bundled up, but actually it's not that cold out here today. No, it was a good day for a parade. There are lots of balloons. All the kids seem to have a balloon. We didn't get a balloon, Carl. No, that's probably in our uh, benefit package as well. The I... candy cane and the balloon. Yes, and a piece of coal. <laughs> and a lump of coal, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> There's some happy little fellas and uh, some ladies. Okay. Oh, yeah, Magic 105.1. The radio van and music with Mitzi Miles, the host of 105.1. 1FM. She's back in her fourth year as Grand Marshal for the Holiday Magic Parade. Mitzi loves to help out Santa's first stop. Of course, this is Santa's first stop in the metro area. She will be greeting everyone with Santa after the parade at Andiamo Osteria on Main and 2nd. Playing the Magic Game Show. That sounds like fun. I think I might do that. The Magic Game Show. I think I used to watch that on TV. The Magic Game Show? I think so. Wasn't it Burt Parks? Burt Parks. <laughs> I think I'm dating myself. I remember bowling for dollars. That's about as far back as I go. Okay. <laughs> but of course, you mentioned earlier that it's a great day for a parade. Have you ever seen a bad day for a parade? No. No. Couldn't be. There could not be a bad day for a parade. There are happy people. Everyone's in anticipating a great holiday season. And everyone's out here to show support for the city, for all the businesses, and just have a good time in general. And we really do have to thank the people of Royal Oak and the businesses. I mean, over six years, this parade has grown to the, what, I, what did I hear, that it was the third most popular and well-attended parade in the state. Yes, I'd like to think it is the first, but I'm just, we're both a little biased. Well, we won't argue with the city of Detroit. <laughs> they have a whole company supporting them. That's we true. have the Downtown Development Authority. That's our version. And they've done a great job putting together another parade for us. They have done a great This is the mini Grand Prix we're looking at right here, I believe. Directed by David Talbot of uh, Royal Oak from the Shriners. The Shriners are a service organization that help kids, that do a lot of work in the community. And the Detroit area temple, called the Moslem Temple, has this group called the Lancers. They run around in their mini Plymouth Prowlers. How do they get in there? I think they uh, start last week, <laughs> and it has to do with a lot of butter and olive oil. I'm not sure. More importantly, how do they get out of there? <laughs> we might find out if we stick around <laughs> to the end of the parade. Did their you know motto, of course, is we ride so children can walk, but to most people, they're just those crazy guys who drive little cars. Did you know there have been a lot of famous Shriners over the year, including Roy Rogers, John Wayne, Dave Thomas of Wendy's, Ty Cobb, Clark Gable. I could go on, but I won't. <laughs> because the next uh, group of people here is the Free Press, I believe. And I, if I'm correct, in that beautiful carriage is the Detroit Free Press and the beloved Yak mascot of the Freeps children's section. And of course, that section is called the Yak's Corner and the official print Speaking of Yaks. Of, yeah, <laughs> first stop. Speaking of Yaks, there's our beloved mayor, Jim Ellison, and his <laughs> wife, Jody. 
and, and uh, state uh, representative Marie Donegan and her husband. Uh, Kevin McLogan from Kevin Royal Oak School course. Board. Well, now you have us. And, um, and they're having a great time. It's always nice to see the mayor and Jody. They always walk in this parade. And uh, as well as Marie and Kevin. And they're all here to, as a prelude to the big man himself who will be coming shortly. I can feel the excitement in the air very shortly now. There is, there, there is a certain amount of uh, tingling in the air. Um, <laughs> I felt Stand it, a little uh, further away from me then, Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what, Pat, on that note, uh, <laughs> we're going to leave everyone and we'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're back. Are you getting some good pictures? Yes. What, what are you getting today? Well, I got some cars and floats. All good stuff. Do. Oh, you're going to have some great pictures. You're going to be a, a newspaper uh, photographer. Yeah. All right. You get a lot of money for those, right? Yeah. All right. Good job. Take the pictures, okay? All right, Carlo, Pat, back to you. Thank you, Charlie. Next, we have the Fox 2 banner, because Santa is so happy that his first stop in Detroit the sixth annual Holiday Magic Parade is right here, and it's televised live on its favorite station, Fox 2. And uh, Fox 2, of course, they have the heated tent down the street, and you and I are standing out here in the freezing cold. Behind the horse. <laughs> and look at this. This is the Grand Marshal himself, sponsored by the Santa Slay. Andiamo Osteria. All right, Charlie, okay, you take Charlie. it over. Yes. Oh, you guys are doing a great job there. I know you. I'm glad to stop here the first time in Royal Oak, the first time I get to Detroit, right to Royal Oak. This is the best stop in the whole state, right? That's what the reindeer tell me. They're at the zoo right now. <laughs> I'm going to let you go over there, Santa, okay? okay. All right, big one big Merry Christmas to Royal Oak. Merry Christmas to Royal Oak, and let's go blue. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks. Santa really, truly loves Royal Oak, and I'm glad he's here. Finally, the first stop in the Metro Detroit area, and I think he's going to be here to stay for a while. Well, it's a great place to come, and I certainly don't blame Santa for wanting to be here and for enjoying himself. I, I think I saw him last night at one of the downtown uh, local establishments. I think you're right. I think he's going to be here for a while because, as we all know, there's a lot of good boys and girls in this town. And he's going to be over at Andiamo's Osteria right after the parade. I think they're going to be having a brunch, and Santa will be there to attend. All right, Charlie, it's, it's back to you. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a lot of fun, really, and the weather held up, and the people held up. Everybody was had a great time downtown Royal Oak today for the Holiday Magic Parade. I just had a great time talking to so many different people from not only Royal Oak, but Macomb County, Wayne County, all over the place coming down to Royal Oak. This is, I think, the second largest parade in the state well worth it. Really does kick off the holiday season. As Santa Claus said, a lot of good boys and girls right here in Royal Oak. Well, thank you again for joining. I'm going to throw it back to you, Carlo and Pat. Ha Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Charlie. Bye-bye now. Thank you very much, Charlie. Uh, once again, you've done a fine job. This is, of course, the sixth annual Christmas parade. And, Pat, I don't know about you, but I'm... Uh Still tingling from the experience. Uh, it's been a, a wonderful parade, and uh, Charlie got the opportunity to climb in the sleigh with Santa. That's the one piece I wish we would have gotten written into our contract. Well, you know what? We have to clean up after the parade. Uh, of course, that's the that's the job that we do after the parade. This was, of course, was a. I had a blast today. And yes, and the uh, uh, pay scale is low, but it's got a high fun scale on it. So we thank everyone for joining us today. Watch us again on St. Patrick's Day, Fourth uh, of July. Halloween, whenever. Um, if you come to my house, you can be expecting, as you, if, as Carlo does, to watch this video. And from all of us here, Merry Christmas to everyone in Royal Oak, and I'm going to go see Santa Claus right now. How about you, Pat? And have a very, very happy holiday season to